Before leaving Lang Auckland, we had an excellent breakfast in this cafe, and it's also where you can pay for your overnight mooring. Jana drove us out from the marina and then we swapped over and this time she walked ahead to make sure the narrows were clear and I drove the boat through. As we went under the bridge everything looked clear, but we soon realised that a number of boats, at least seven, were already coming across the aqueduct towards us, so we had to pull in to the side and wait. Now many of these boats would probably be going into the basin at Trevor, and you can see the entrance to that just behind the blue boat in the picture. But at the moment the basin is closed, there's some work going on there, so their only options would be either to turn left and go up to Langochlen or simply turn around and go back over the aqueduct where they came from. There was chaos for a while as they all tried to sort themselves out but luckily we were at the front of the queue for crossing the aqueduct. I have to say though everybody took it very well and there were no arguments at all. Boaters are definitely more friendly than motorists. So you can moor here for two days at Fron Casalta. This is before the aqueduct on the Turk side. And this is where we stayed last night. Just checked in the visitor centre and the uh, the basin at, Tre at Trevor is due to be open again in uh, about the middle of July this year, so that'll be a big help. Look at these private moorings, not a single boat in sight and I think they all belong to this 
set of apartments. What a fabulous view though from their windows. Very nice indeed. The wind has really picked up now. You can actually see almost like waves on the canal. Makes it much harder to steer the boat. So we're just passing Frankton Junction. We're on the right. You can see the entrance to the Montgomery Canal. Uh, this canal goes all the way to Newtown, although it's not navigable uh, all the way. And there are four locks just at the very top. The first two of them is a staircase of two, and then there are two single ones. Be nice to investigate this canal one day. Looks like they've started doing some repairs. There are some long straights on the canal, like this one. And another very long straight, looks about a mile, dead straight. So this is where we moored, just outside the entrance to the Prees branch, where there's uh, quite a large area for turning, and that's where we'll be turning tomorrow, I think. And heading back towards Ellesmere. Really nice spot this, with some bollards, further back, it's a very long straight one or two um, more in spots as well and there's a nasty log floating in the canal that'll be one to avoid I think Although it's only a mile long, the trees branch does have two lift bridges and as with the locks earlier, I wanted to do these single-handed because that's how I'll have to do it when I've got narrowboat Gladys. And also just to make it a bit harder, I 
use the method of tying the boat on the off towpath side on the single bollards at the front and then took the boat through the bridge and tied it via the rope at the back then wound down the bridge carefully walked along and did the rope got back on the boat and drove off and happy to say it all went very well in fairness I must also say it was one of the easiest lift bridges I've ever wound up so that really helped Before we knew it, we were back at Ellesmere and safely tied up just outside Blackwater Meadow Marina. It was such a nice evening, we decided we'd go into town and get something to eat. And a lot of people we'd met had recommended somewhere called the Red Lion. And so that's where we went. And I must say, it was absolutely fabulous. The food was great, prices were very reasonable and I totally recommend it. Sadly, that was the end of our week on the Langochlan Canal, but we really did enjoy it. And I hope you've enjoyed watching these videos. That's not quite the end of it though, because I'm thinking of making a third video, and that'll just show the sights and sounds of the canal that, that we saw and heard but without me babbling on in the background. So I hope to do that soon. In the meantime, if you enjoyed watching this video and the first video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do think of doing so. It does help the channel a lot, and I really do appreciate it. But until next time, it's bye from me, Goodbye.